We are down to the last two fruit trees. Peach tree never came back. I've pretty much, we honestly, weeks ago, I wrote it off as expecting it to be dead and I'm pretty sure it's dead. But we've got the kumquat tree and the last fig tree, which I pruned up yesterday. On another note, you wanna, you guys wanna see uh, Miss Cuckoo's chicks? Where are they? We've integrated them into the uh, the Splash Americana flock, and they've been in the coop for the last uh, couple weeks, acclimating to the coop. And today is their first day being let out of said coop. So let's go see them. Hi, Mocha. Pretty girl. Hi, fat girl. Sophie. See, look at her. Look at how round she is. <laughs> she's starting to bag up. She's she's due at the earliest uh, July second. We estimated. So we're just. It could be a little bit earlier. I mean, I only saw him get in that day, but I mean, I don't know. I don't even know. Oh, is it because I got the camera? You're like, what the heck have you got in your hand? What is that? What is that? Hi. Here is Miss Cuckoo's chicks. There they are. Look at them. Look at how big they've gotten. Yeah, I see you over there. Look at these pretty babies. You guys have gotten so big. Can I pet you? Oh. So look at how big they've gotten. So they are blues, which I kind of assumed. Oh, she's fine, buddy. I've, I've put the chicken food up. We hang the chicken food up so that the goats can't get it. Yeah, you little thief. You'll eat it all if you if you get a chance. But look at how pretty they are. You gonna try and hold one, buddy? I'm gonna try and get the darkest one. Oh, you gonna try and get the darkest one? So we've got some in here that are light, some that are dark. Hi, sweet. Hi, uh -huh, sweetheart. Hi, spy. Yeah, Hi, just go nice and slow. <laughs> There you go, go nice and slow. You got, I don't one? know which one's the darkest. Um, there you go, pick it up. There you go. That's I'm a gonna call dark. this one Darky. Yeah? Yes. Look at how pretty those feathers no, are. No, I'm gonna call him Lord Vader. Oh yeah? Darth Vader. <laughs> Vader well, they've for got short. the beards like the hey, parents. Because they are half Americanas. So they've got the they've got the beards, which is Be exciting because I love the beards, personally. Hey, let me see that. Let me see that face, buddy. Hold her up. Oh, look at that Meet pretty girl. Hi, Vader. baby. That's a sweet baby. Yeah, you guys are much more handled than the Splash Americanas. Vader is so we didn't sweet. handle them much. Vader is sweet. And we'll start. This is a sweet. There you go, baby. This is the sweet I version know. of Vader. Is it? Mm-hmm. Hi, baby. It's Darth Vader. Oh, so sweet. Oh, just so you can actually get, get a really good view of the colors. They're so pretty. I actually really like this coloring. I'm excited to see when we get their actual rooster what coloring their offspring are going to be. So the plan actually for them is that we are going to, once they come of age where they start laying, we're going to separate them from the Splash Americanas to run them in their own uh, coop. And we're actually going because I want to dar further darken their eggs. So the way you do that is you actually breed an olive agar to a dark brown laying breed. So I'm gonna try and get my hands on some really good uh, either black copper morans or blue copper morans. I thought the blue copper morans would be a really nice color because they're already blue. And then we could, instead of it being black as the main color with the red breast, it would be blue with a red breast. Oh, they're venturing out. Hi babies, you guys getting brave? There you go, go explore. See the outside world. There's so much more than this coop that you guys have been in. The adults are out and about. There you go babies. See all that grass to eat? Oh, they're so happy. And in here, we've got some birdie mamas. We got Miss 
Cuckoo is sitting on a couple eggs. Speckle is also, also went broody and has been sitting on eggs. So they've got six eggs under them. But look how sweet they are. They puff up, but I can still pet them. There are sweet girls. Sweet girls, I know babies. I'll leave you alone. No, I would advise against taking them outside the poultry net. Oh, you got You got the one you like? His name's Vader. His name's Vader? Mm -hmm. Yeah, is that what that one's name's gonna be? Are we gonna have to put a, t put a tag on that one? Hopefully that one's a hen. Hopefully that one's a hen. But if it's a hen, then we can't name it Vader. <laughs> Why not? We could. We can name it whatever we want. They're our pets. True. Oh, look at those babies. Happy babies. Sophie, you cannot eat my tripod, honey. I, I, I know, I know Darth it seems Vader like a great idea, but it's not. <laughs> to stop eating her tripod! <laughs> so, it's been particularly windy. Like, I'm talking like 20 mile an hour winds out here on the property. Uh, yesterday was atrocious. But exciting news, the pad's done. It's all set and ready for a house. Um, I've just, all that's left is for me to get the permit application from the electrician and then we go. Can I help you bud? Oh, there's pheasants. Or, oh, so we have quail out here. Very large quail. Oh my gosh, no, those are quail, those are pheasants. Oh my God, I don't know if I can get it on camera. So something really cool out here. So we have a lot of quail, wild quail out here. Uh, two different varieties, Bob White, and I don't know the other variety that we have, but the other variety is huge for quail. Something recently, uh, uh, last year, we saw a ringneck pheasant, a male, very flashy, very pretty, in our neighborhood. Well, a couple months back, a female popped up, and they got together, and I just saw him, the female, and I don't know if it was an offspring or another new female which is exciting, like that's really cool to see that kind of wildlife out here. So I have to try and, oh, I can, I can see him. Like, oh, but he's so far away and my, my lens does not zoom. Unfortunately, I couldn't get a picture of it. They, you get a certain distance from them and they're like, nope, I'm out, peace. But you might hear it randomly call. I hear it make its call out here every morning like usually two or three times and I heard it just a little bit ago while I was out there. It's, it's somewhere out there. It's somewhere out there. But there's three of them now, not just two. So that's really exciting because they're very beautiful. Oh my gosh, you guys gotta see Leon. He's picked this one chicken that he absolutely loves. The chicken's name is Vader. And now they're just, they're hanging out. What? What do you two chonkos want? Yeah. So the goats are liking their new little hey goat hey. The goats are liking their new little goat hut that I found on the side of the road for them. They're using it a lot, which makes me happy. It's a good find. Especially given lumber prices right now. That thing was solid, just needed a couple extra screws, and they've been using it. All of the fruit trees are finally transplanted. We've got Ponderosa lemon, which I'm still, I think I'm gonna bring out some fish emulsion and see if that helps. Oh no, the rain's coming back. I transplanted all the fruit trees in like this low drizzle. So we're gonna get this done real quick. But then we got our mandarin, our pomelo, our variegated kumquat oh, i just i can't get over how pretty this tree is like once it once it trains out it's gonna be absolutely gorgeous so we got our variegated kumquat i think that apple tree is gonna be dead i don't know we'll see we'll see if, it, if we lose it it happens we're gonna leave the other apple tree where it is and let it be there in front of the uh, silky coop and just kind of incorporate it into the landscaping around the silky coop then we've got our Pakistani mulberry. Then we've got our Barbados cherry tree. So there's our magnolia fig, which is doing great. I pruned it up. We've got four main, four main stems coming out. 
Then we've got, I can't remember what this, this fig tree was called. I gotta look it up in the records. And I gotta come in and prune this up to the shape that I want so that we can start training it. Then we've got the Olympian fig. And then our custard apple. Look at how much it's grown. It has You're been right. doing excellent since we came, since we brought it out here. <laughs> Stand up next to it so we can see how tall it is next to you. All right, so. It's up to my shoulder. Well, no, that's the, that's the steak. That's the bamboo steak. So you see the top of the leaf, so it's up to your stomach. So we'll. Actually up to my chest. Yep, so we'll see how it looks in three or four months. With that done, we are finally ready to bring our guy in to raise up the garden area, make it level so that it doesn't flood anymore, fill in those swales. And once all of that leveling is done, I can start working on the garden space. I can, we can get the silky coop built and we can start working on that. Our banana trees are doing great. I think we only, I think we have one banana tree that hasn't put out a new leaf. All of the others have put out new growth. They're doing great. I've actually got to come in here and mow. You can see where the grass is growing in. I've got to come in and mow, put down some sort of barrier for the weeds, and then I need to mulch in here. I'm waiting to hear back from my tree guy to get a good truckload of mulch out here. And I'll, we'll, we'll do that another day, but I'll show, you, I'll show you guys that. Lexi's mango tree is doing great. I've actually got to get in there and clean it out but it's doing excellent. And then I'll show you guys. It's kind of cool looking at it cause it's like looking at the garden before we actually even did anything. I mean, it's a mess right now. I'm gonna clean it all up. We're just gonna leave the peach tree. Oh my gosh, oh, there was a little bird on the peach tree. <laughs> We're just gonna leave the peach tree there because like I said, I'm like 99% sure this thing's dead, unfortunately. So I'm not gonna waste my energy. Hi, baby cake. He's decided he's a chicken. So I'm not gonna waste my energy digging this tree up. I'm gonna let him just push it up whenever he comes in with the, uh, I don't know, whatever he uses to clean, to, to, to clean this up and grate it. But we're gonna leave the apple tree here. It's actually fruiting right now. Apples in Florida. This one actually might be ready to pick. We got some more flowers on the apple tree. Pretty, pretty flowers. Yes. Super excited to see apples when this tree gets established and is taking off. To kind of roughly go over what all we're doing in the garden area. So picture if you will. So you can actually kind of see based on the grass type, the original outline of the garden. And that is still going to be the garden. We might actually extend it a little bit further that way because the, the goat pen is actually gonna be coming out. It won't be there anymore. So we might extend the garden out a little bit. It's gonna come all the way probably down to there. It'll be a nice long garden bed. Then central where the apple tree right there is going to be the chicken, the soaky coop. And I'll show you guys that uh, here soon. But there's going to be a silky coop and we'll probably plant another apple tree on either side of it. So we'll have two right there just to kind of give it that nice symmetry. And then on either side, we'll probably have some smaller garden beds but I know they're gonna be so happy to have an upgrade. That coop has, we've had this coop for a long time. It's served its purpose, but it's time to get them something big and nice. Let's see, they're saying the same thing. <laughs> so with the house pad being done, I thought I'd show you guys the view. So when you're standing here, you get this kind of flat, you see everything on ground level, of course. It's just pretty simple. Here is the house pad. It's huge. I'm excited. I'm so excited. We're gonna have. Uh, I, I gotta get. I gotta get the tour video. I gotta get the virtual tour video. I'm gonna work on that. I'm gonna work on that. I've been so busy. I haven't been able to sit down and do it. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. I'm just gonna pull the trigger and do it. Let's just get this done. But here's the view. 
So there's the driveway, there's the pond, and there's the side pasture. I can't wait, because look, you'll be able to see the garden and the chicken coop. And then you walk over to the other side, and there's the other pasture. You can see everything. It's gonna be so nice. The back porch area, you'll notice that it's really, really sloped here. It's a pretty steep decline. Thought it'd be really cool if at the back of the porch, we cut steps into the pad. I have a lot of family up in Pennsylvania and I've always loved how they have stairs carved into the mountain sides where their houses are built. And I just, I've always loved it. So we had kind of, I kind of threw the idea at Davis and he's like, I like that idea. So we're gonna do that. And then Leon, so you know what's really cool about this, this these slopes, buddy? What? Once it's covered in grass, you can sled down it. We could get you a sled and you could sled down the grass. Wouldn't that be cool? Or I could go down a four wheel thing, or I could roll them down it on a four wheel thing. Mm-hmm, the possibilities are, the possibilities are endless. So hopefully, by the next vlog, I will have submitted the permit applications and we will just be waiting for that and then we go.